someone once said that you know most people can be introduced in terms of the schools that they attended, that I perhaps should be introduced in terms of the schools that I sued. <laughs> um, along the lines of these cases were me. In other words, I was oftentimes representing women who were in situations that I fully understood. Mm -hmm. um, and the discrimination cases were, the discrimination cases against academic institutions were like that. Literally, the first case I brought was against Tufts University, and this was about a year after Sachs. Mm -hmm. So I went from murder to discrimination, which always, you know, seemed easy to me. <laughs> um, but the, these were very complicated cases. They took a lot of resources. Um, women sometimes don't bring these cases because they're too expensive. And if you are like me and willing to work for a song, suddenly you can do this. Um, but I love the challenge of it. Uh, universities have the illusion of rationality committees and yeah. paper and evaluations and at the end of the day they may mask the same kind of attitudes that you see on the assembly line you know I don't like the way I one but one I quote in my book is a woman who was uh, going for a named chair and one of the members of the committee literally said you know I I just can't see her in that position I can't see her why can't you see her in that position because you envision a man in that that's position. right that's right uh, so I, I sued most of the major institutions in the Northeast. Not Yale, because I was going there, but certainly Harvard. And one of the last cases I took was representing Claire Dalton, who was suing Harvard Law School for gender discrimination. So there's a certain irony <laughs> about this. It is so crucial that women are on tenure track positions in academic institutions. It's Well, it, it's... Um, uh, it, when you talk about role model, it, it, it's not an illusion. Um, you feel confident if you, young woman, can envision yourself in these roles. And if you don't have women in these roles, then you can't expect young women to, they'll come to the school perhaps, but they won't know where to go after that. So it's, I think it's terribly, it's really terribly important. Uh, many of the schools changed in terms of tenure, although the numbers yes. are still not fabulous. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.